If you mask or hide part of a mesh and press Ctrl W, you polygroup that part of the mesh. Polygroups are crazy useful when working in ZBrush. For instance, Ctrl Shift clicking on a polygroup allows you to instantly solo that part of the mesh. Then you can mask it and unhide the rest of the mesh and continue working. You might even press Ctrl H to temporarily hide the visual representation of the mask. A better approach would be to navigate to Brush, Auto Masking, Mask by Polygroups and turn it all the way to 100 so that you only affect one polygroup at a time. An even better approach would be to install the plugin called Nix Tools. Then if you grab this Auto Mask PG button and put it on your UI, you can toggle this slider between 0 and 100 just by clicking this button. Of course, sometimes you will still want to mask certain polygroups. Under the Auto Mask PG button is a Mask PG under cursor. Control alt click this to set it to a hotkey, then you can use the hotkey to mask polygroups with just one button. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that thumbs up button. Peace.